Last time that I checked, check, it was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep. Last time that okay, I checked. Okay, so today we'll be talking about um, Amazon Fresh doing instant snap benefit um, free delivery if you sign up for a free trial of Amazon Prime. I want to talk about my strange addiction. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hello, guys. I'm here to tell you about uh, Amazon Fresh. And they accept the food stamps, the EBT, the SNAP, and they have a little, well, free delivery. You sign up for um, Amazon, Prime Amazon. Is it Amazon Prime? That's my daughter. She's out of the camera. She don't want to be in the camera. But I just have to tell you how wonderful it is. When you can't get out and order food, and it's way better than Walmart. Walmart charges uh, ten dollars, you know. And if you already have the SNAP, you need, you know, all the discounts you can get. And we've ordered three times so far, and it went completely smooth. And um, we had no problems, no issues. They delivered straight to the door, and it's been wonderful. Um, so we can't always get out. We don't always have money to get out and go get the groceries. And um, we were in a car wreck, so we have back problems and packing all the water in up the stairs and stuff like that. So is there anything you want to add, Chuck? They love it too. And you, you get you can buy ice cream. Um, everything you can get at the grocery store, you can basically get on this um, Amazon Fresh. And they do sell Whole Foods, like the grocery store Whole Foods. So it's a wonderful thing. You should check it out. Um, in comparison to Walmart, because I've ordered things from Walmart and there's always some problem or some issue. Oh, they don't have it in stock. They let you order it and then when you get your delivery, it's not in there. Not in the substitution. So we had no problems ordering with Amazon Fresh. I just wanted to let you guys know. If you get food stamps, remember that. 2014, I started having serious um, vaginal bleeding, like from a period that I bled for 10 straight months. I'm almost completely every day just draining my whole body of blood, and I ended up um, severely anemic. I couldn't walk from my bed to the bathroom without um, feeling like I ran a marathon and the blood level was so low that I had no circulation, no blood flow to anything um, in my body except for my heart. Uh, the blood that I had left was going to my heart to keep me alive, to keep it pumping. And I was praying that it would just Stop. But I did develop uh, a strange addiction because of the anemia and uh, in response to your body just trying to feel better and uh, stay alive. They told me. We ended up with that pica, pica, whatever they call it. So one day I was just trying to come up with uh, something to feel better. I, I ate some uh, Reese's cup and it, it felt grainy in my mouth and so I was like, oh, that, that made me feel better for some reason. So a lot of people who are anemic um, eat ice, ice chips and stuff like that. And I guess it would, if it was the first thing that I found um, that was, you know, something that felt so calming and relaxing and made me feel better and just in general make me have some type of comfort level. But what I found was after I had the Reese's Cup and I kept looking for something to um, have, I ended up having baking soda. So I know it's a really uh, bad habit because it has a lot of sodium in it. So I eat baking soda and I've been eating it for the last almost six years, six years. And it does bloat me, it's a lot of sodium, but I know it's bad for me, but I can't stop. And the more anemic I am, the more I eat it. So if I'm feeling better and my blood is built up a little bit, I don't eat it. So um, it just feels good in my mouth, the graininess. And, it's a comfort, and it's just, it instantly makes me feel better. Like right now, I'm somewhat let me make, um, I had a, a period three weeks ago, so um, we're close to beginning again with another one. I haven't gotten a blood built back up um, since that time. Um, I tried to take it on the B12, and the beer actually helps um, with B12, so, and I like beer, but, um, 
it's different when you're forced to drink. And the better beer for you, if you are anemic, is uh, the dark beer. And I don't like it. I think it's really nothing but the color. It's nothing but the color that makes me, I don't want it. And the fact that it's good for you um, makes me not want it. So for anybody who's anemic and you maybe have a, a strange addiction because of anemia, I know most people get the ice or cornstarch. Um, I didn't like the cornstarch at all. Um, I wish I had got the ice. You know, I would be so bloated all the time and it wouldn't be, you know, too damaging by having too much sodium. So I ended up with this one and I wish I could get off of it, but I can't. I would still watch these shows, Strange Addictions, and I'm like, people are crazy. I don't want to be crazy. Well, I just found out I was crazy anyway. Completely. I kind of knew. The kids always tell me, uh oh, there's a child there. Don't put that in. Huh. Cut that out. Cut that out. Well, that's just too damn bad. If she ends up in the video, it's... No, I'll cut it out. But, it was light as bright. But, that's my strange addiction and my helpful tip for um, food stamp and EBT shopping. And, my anemia story. I did get better. I had to go to the hospital. And that's when I found out, because I did think I was crazy, you know, eating baking soda. I didn't know why I was doing that. But I ended up going to the hospital. And when I got there, um, my blood level was a three, I believe. I had bled out more than half the blood in my body. And I ended up having a true blood transfusion while I was there at the hospital. And I continued to believe while I was there. It did so many tests and didn't find what exactly was wrong with me. Um, so, I never really found out from people. I went to a lot of doctors, you know, that, um, a, time, a period where it, it did stop, and it started back again, and usually I uh, just stress. If I get completely stressed out or worried or something like that, I will start, you know, bleeding out of control. I got tested for fibroids, and. Um, you name it, and was supposed to have a scraping of the wounds, and didn't, and, but it just stopped. Um, I ended up having, well, after that time, I did have a, another uh, blood transfusion. It was during the time of stress, so, and I still was even like so in my blood pressure was high. So, it's better now. I haven't had to have blood transfusion. I'm glad with this whole COVID thing going on, so with that like to go to the hospital at all. So, it's just always on the verge of, you know, like a period can throw me off completely and make me um, very much um, anemic, which makes my little baking soda habit go um, off the rails. Right now, he's off the rails, so I've been eating a lot of baking soda. I already went through one of these cans here in two weeks, which is not too bad, but lot of sodium. So, what a strange addiction. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'll be doing more cooking videos, more vlogs, and maybe some good enough for the children that are their little camera shop, but they do have their own channel, um, the b and um, that we were all on, and they will be making a new channel soon. So, if you would like to go over and check this out, and, oh, long time ago, my other daughter had a channel with her friends called Bam vs. And we'll do a story time soon about um, Hurricane Harvey and the ending that maybe. I'll tell you just a few story times coming and vlogs and cooking. I'll be cooking. Especially for the fall, decorating for the fall. Thank you for watching though. And I hope you will come back and see me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. And I'll see you soon. Peace.